Welcome back to Champ Veteran and Community Chat. I am Kayla Alex, co-host, and I'm with my handsome co-host. Sam Alex. And we really missed you all. We just got back on our trip and we've been gone. Um, we highly recommend everyone to take time out to relax, reset, recharge. It gets your creativity juices going. And so we are back live and ready to go. That's right. I'm excited to be back. I am too. I just want to give all honor to God today. We are so Amen. grateful that he has blessed us with this wonderful platform. And um, we were in Thailand connecting with veterans out there learning more about the foreign medical uh, program. program and supporting one of our vets who flew out there to get an innovative, advanced, progressed medical procedure that is not done here in the VA via the foreign medical program was able to cover the cost of this unique surgery it was neck surgery and Correct. and let's just say he was playing golf a few days later that's right and i have a former co-worker and friend who had neck surgery here and it wasn't as as advanced and it took her over two and a half years to recover and she still has some challenges and so i just want to encourage everyone to just kind of keep your you know your mind open and look at some of the other programs that the VA offers like the foreign medical program look into that and just you know look at for alternatives you always want to get second opinions am i right Sam That is correct And is correct. and what are your thoughts uh, about the trip was phenomenal meeting veterans and seeing what they're doing uh, globally and talking to our uh, one of our guests today about how uh, St. John's can be a even a bigger impact for our veterans that are downrange that still need the spiritual support. So I'm excited to, about bringing that aspect as well. We bring the wellness f with Champ, but also the spiritual piece that St. John's is known for would be very impactful to our veterans downrange. Yes. So to your point, yes, keep your mind open and, and uh, make sure that we're continuing to throw the net on the right side of the boat. All right, so let's go ahead and do some updates and some housekeeping and just give you all some great information that is being held here at the church as well as in our community. That, are, is, that is beneficial to our veteran community and family members. Starting with a shout out to Pastor Tiffany yes. and the phenomenal pastors on the staff that yes. made the experience here at St. John's. And if you haven't been here at 9 a.m. on Sunday, you're missing out. You trip. are missing out. Phenomenal service. You will be impacted. You Once you come and you leave, you will not be the same. Yes. Yes. So please join us and all the volunteers and the employees and all the folks, our security team that just make the experience here at St. John's and the Bread of Life a life changing event. Yes. We also have um, Stand Down next week, October 18th. And our guest for next week, she'll talk a little bit more in depth about Stand Down. It is a great program that provides wraparound services for veterans. And so if you are a veteran and you're listening and you need medical services or you just need support, however, whatever you need, you'll be able to get service at Stand Down. We'll have more information on that next week. Our whole show will be about Stand Down where it's going to be located, and how you can get plugged in. That's right. Also, CA meets tonight at 6.30 here at the amazing campus, 2019 Crawford. 
St. John's Downtown, 77002. Come on in if you need a CA meeting with Rodney Owens of Pathway to Serenity. Also, on tomorrow, Thursday, Path to Freedom, they meet at 5.30 to 6.30 here on the campus of St. John's. Men, Lions Heart, we're on the phone call each morning at 6.15 a.m. Text me at 832-228-3451, 832-228-3451, and I'll send you the link to the Zoom call each morning. It's a great way to start your morning in a spiritual, uplifting, impactful way, and it impacts the rest of your day. Uh, my wife will often say, Kayla will often say, I notice when you haven't been on the call with the men. <laughs> <laughs> so it is very, very life-changing in a positive way. Also, don't forget, this is Cancer Awareness Month. Breast Cancer Awareness yes, Month. let's not forget. Yes. Testing is so important. Yes. Testing yes. is so, so important. So please, please, women, make sure you get your mammograms annually. It is so important. And more and more women are being diagnosed earlier in age. So I highly recommend you get your mammogram. And if your doctor doesn't offer it, you request it. And I think knowing the symptoms, because men are impacted as well, not at the same level or rate, but it is impacting men. I think our guest a few weeks back said about 3,000 men each year are diagnosed. So mm -hmm. if men, if you're in a high risk category, get checked and finally we want to keep all of those in the pathway of hurricane milton in our prayers and any way that you can support i know veterans we and and and, and caregivers we are very engaged as far as service community service and giving back so Please keep them in your prayers and then think of ways of how you can get connected and how you can give back. Without further ado, we have a special guest that we want to introduce. I have one more. Let's we see. cannot forget Rodney and Barbara. Yes, thank you, Rodney and Barbara Owens, for filling in for us while we were out. You all did an amazing they did. job. They did. Fabulous job. Bravo to you. That's so right. thank you. We are very grateful for you filling in for us. Thank you so much. Our guest today is a young man that uh, served in the Army Reserves. He's an Army Reserve veteran. And not only that, he wants to share with veterans and the community the importance of skill trades. I know oftentimes four-year college, for me, I did the four-year college route and a little technical training when you think about the military. That's more like a technical side. I think sometimes we don't talk enough about technical and skill and STEM schools, like plumbing mm -hmm. and things like that. Right, Katie? And the VA calls that those, uh, calls it the vocational rehab jobs, correct? Vocational. Vocational jobs. Vocational Blue jobs. Blue collar. And, and, and these are careers. They're high. They, they pay very well. And there's such a demand for it. Mm -hmm. And so I always try to share with young people, while you're pursuing your TikTok career, it's okay to go ahead and get a STEM career certification at the same time. That way you have, you have a fallback plan or a plan B or a plan A.2, you know. Exactly. Plumbing, HVAC. Listen, you'll make a great career, a great salary in Houston, Texas with HVAC Talking for sure. Talking about job security. Yes. Job so security. this young man is going to share, we know him intimately. Yes, he's our baby boy. I would say the youngest as, you know, well, as dad, mama. our youngest. <laughs> and so we want to introduce Walter Alex before we go to break. Give it up for Walter Alex in the STEM Welcome, career Welcome, Walter. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Yes, Walter. Before we go to break, uh, we, we want you to share, where did you get your technical training and what area of technical training are you in before we go to break? About 30 seconds. Um, so technical training, just experience, uh, put applications out there, found a job that would take me entry level with some experience being a contractor in the plants. And um, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, it was so, a two-part question. No, that's it. We'll leave it there. Okay, let's, okay, let's, let's, okay. Call, let's call a cliffhanger before Got we go you. to break, All so right. we'll stay awesome. tuned. Yeah. So amazing artists, stay with us. 
You're on the amazing 102.5 FM, powered by who? The Bread of Life. See you after break. 